Hey, welcome back. I did want to do one more screen uh, with you. I'll probably attach it on to tomorrow's lesson, but I uh, wanted to do this one here with the screen all pulled up and everything. Um, we're going to actually find the measure of arcs. Now, if it's a semicircle, you know it's 180 degrees, but if it's a minor or major, all you know is it's you know either less than 180 or more than 180. But here's how you actually figure them out. Um, give you a chance to write this down. Again, pause if you need to, but see this gold hairy asterisk here? It means it's an important hint, and it's telling you the measure of an arc is equal to the measure of the central angle that creates it. All right, so what does that mean? If you look at the first problem here, they want the measure of arc BC. Now, the fact that it's only got two letters, B and C, tells me it's a minor arc. It's going to be small. It's going to be less than 180. And so I look at arc BC. There it is right there. Boom, this little guy right here. But I notice it is created by this 32 degree central angle. Now, it's got to be a central angle for this to work. So, and these all are because the O is the center of the circle. So, if that angle is 32 degrees and it's a central angle, that means that this arc is 32 degrees. All right, so the measure of arc BC would just be 32 degrees. Any questions on that? All right. Anybody want to take a shot at uh, the measure of arc BD? Again, two letters is telling me it's got to be less than 180. Now, BD is, oh, it's the BC that we just figured out plus this next guy who actually has a 58 on him. So that's, uh, that's helpful. We didn't need to you know, transfer that number up there. It's already there. So if B to C is 32 and C to D is 58, all I have to do to find BD is add the 32 plus the 58. And let's see, 2 and 8, that'd be 10. Carry the 1. And then 1, 3, and 5, that's going to be 9. That's 90. So what that means, that's a 90-degree arc. Therefore, this angle needs to be a 90-degree central angle. And it looks kind of like it is, right? So cool. There you go. 90. All right. Now, ABC. Three letters. We're getting bigger. So we're at least 180 degrees. If it's a semicircle, it's 180. If it's a major, it's more. So let's take a look at ABC. So here's A. And it goes over here to B to C. Oh, check this out. That is a diameter from A to C. So ABC is what? Who's got that? Anybody got that? Carl Grimes. Carl, what do you think? 180. Yeah, it's 180. Okay, because it is a semicircle. ABC is that half of the circle. And last one. Oh, another two-letter name. Two letters, again, means it's going to be smaller. It's a smaller angle. Uh, I'm sorry, smaller arc. Yeah, I'll edit that out later. Uh, smaller arc, because it's only got two letters. And A to B. Okay, so A to B, uh-oh, there's no markings. There's no central angle mark. There's no marking out here. So we got to do some math. Who thinks they can do this one? Anybody? Uh, Daryl Dixon. All right, Daryl, what do you think? You think it's going to be... Uh, what? 148? How'd you get 148? Daryl says 148. All right, let's write that down. Daryl... He thinks it's going to be 148 degrees. He's pretty smart. Let's take a look. Uh, there's no markings, but Daryl said, hey, wait. Just a few moments ago, we talked about how this is 180 degrees, right? Because that's a, that's a diameter. So there's 180 degrees over here. There's 180 degrees over there. We don't care about those 180 degrees, but we do care about these. And the piece that we want is uh, AB which is this arc right here that I'm about to highlight, A to B. So we want everything except these 32 degrees. So what Daryl did is he said, okay, that whole thing is 180, but I don't care about this 32 piece, so I'm gonna subtract that off. 
So he subtracted off 32, and let's see. Uh, you all check behind me. I'm going to freestyle. Yes, it's 148. So if it's wrong, me and Daryl both got it wrong. Good job, Daryl. So this piece, it's it's 180 minus off that 32 that's not part of AB. Good job, Daryl. Any questions? And I am going to stop there. All right. Hope you have a good day. Hey, guys. Uh, just in my over 20 years of experience of teaching geometry, have a quick review to get so to catch you up on some of the things I know are going to pop up on tomorrow's assignment. First of all, way back months ago, near the beginning of the school year, we talked about this, a circle. Hadn't even taught y'all anything about circles. And I said, hey, how many degrees are there in a circle? And many of you all knew that a circle has 360 degrees, all right? That's one of those things you can never forget, all right? It's not, it never goes away. You just need to rem remember that for the rest of your life. And then I said, okay, since most of y'all know a circle is 360 degrees, I cut the circle in half, right? And I said, Do, what does it make sense for the half a circle to equal? And you all said, oh, well, a half of a circle, that would then be 180 degrees, right? And we talked about a, 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 a line or a segment has 180 degrees on it. So if there's 180 degrees right there, then the arc is also 180 degrees. And that brings us to the last little thing that I know is gonna pop up on your worksheet tomorrow, is that is a quarter of a circle, one fourth of a circle. Sometimes it'll even have this little box in the corner and everybody at this point in your geometry life knows that that box means 90. So if this is a 90 degree central angle, like that would be the center of the circle, then guess what? that is also going to be 90 degrees of an arc, all right? So keep those things in your brain. If they're not there already, refer back to this part of the video for a little helpful hint so you don't need to send me an email on that. Like, just remember, whole circle 360, half 180, a quarter of a circle 90. Now, I've got a little draw diagram here. Now, this diagram may or may not be the exact one on your worksheet uh, tomorrow. All right, so um, let's just take a look at it because some of those ideas pop up. Like you see this little box right here. And again, we just talked about a box means 90. So, hey, spoiler alert, what do you think that arc right there is going to be? There's no number on it, but there's a box, so you know what that's gonna be. Now, some of y'all are saying, okay, my, my all-star students are saying, hey, well, that JH looks like a diameter. It's cutting the circle into two equal halves. It is, absolutely. So if this is a 90 degree box right here, well, this where the B is, now that B represents the center of the circle, but where that B is, that would also be perfe uh, perfection, a perfect, 90 degree angle as well. So now you know what that arc is, okay? Cool. Now, then you got a, a 151 right here, right? That's the big guy, right? That 151 represents from I all the way over here to J. So since that's a central angle, yeah, you now know what this one is. So I know for sure what they're gonna ask you, they're gonna ask you about HI. You know, they're gonna have one of those on there. Now, you're saying, I don't know how to do that. Yes, you do, all right? Use a little uh, deductive reasoning. If this is 180, because that's half of a circle, and this big piece that we don't really care about, that's 151, you can do a simple math computation to find out what this little missing piece is, all right? So there, I've kind of worked you through some of the things, and now tomorrow on your worksheet, you'll have a diagram and some problems about it very similar to this one, very similar. All right, so there goes that. And good luck on that. Remember, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to refer back to this video, all right? Uh, you can always email me questions, but I kind of scratch my head sometimes when you ask me questions that I directly explained in the video. So, but send me those emails if you get stuck. Thanks.